Hello everyone, Radsman Law here. Today we're looking at how you can safely and legally transport your pistol uh, in a vehicle if you do not have a CPL. Um, if you are an open carry advocate or you openly carry your pistol in a holster such as this uh, and you want to take it somewhere, you cannot simply get into the car. Just sitting here like this would be a violation of the law if you do not have a CPL. So I'm going to show you right now, I'll take a trip to the back of the vehicle here, how you can uh, legally transport your pistol. Remember, if you have a car or an SUV, the point is, is that you want the pistol in the furthest, most inaccessible point uh, to the occupants of the vehicle. So for here in an SUV, we want it in the cargo hatch area. Now, the law says that we have to have some sort of a box designed for a pistol. It could be a locking box or the case that the pistol comes in. Uh, just remember that it has to be a case designed to carry a firearm. That is what the law says. The other part of the law says is that what it says is that the pistol must be unloaded. So I'm going to demonstrate that to you right now. We're going to open up the box. I'm going to safely unload the firearm here. I have some practice ammunition so you guys can easily see. Here's the one that came out of the chamber. And then we're going to safely close the box. The ammunition does not have to be separate from the box. It can be back here if you want. Now, if you're overly precautious, you can take this ammunition and store it up in the glove box with you is what I recommend. Um, if you have any questions about firearms law, or you'd like to get your CPL so you don't have to go through all of this, you can give us a call 248-702-5282 or you can message us on Facebook or through our website, radsmanlaw.com. I look forward to answering any questions you have. Uh, stay safe out there. We'll see you next time.